Welcome to 30 Second Chances, where we ask deep contemplative questions and provide far too little time to formulate thoughtful, reflective answers. My guest today is production sound engineer, Sarah Glazer, rhymes with Jewish space lasers. Um, <laughs> Sarah, how you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well, how are you? Good, thank you. Okay, you know the dance, 30 seconds on the clock and then on to the next question. Are you ready? Shoot, let's go. Okay, question number one, describe your job to a five-year-old. I work in the land of make-believe with people who pretend all day. And we have cameras for the picture and microphones for the sound. And I work with the microphones. And then later we can watch it on the television. Wow, I'm, I'm still not past the whole idea of the land of make-believe. Okay. <laughs> we pretend for a living. <laughs> It's true. It's true. <laughs> okay. Next question. What's the most important skill that you use in your work that cannot be taught? Uh, adaptability. Um, the, uh, I have a little rubber ducky on my cart, Marcel, and uh, I say practice the art of being a duck and let everything roll off your back. And Marcel also has a little espresso and he's got a French shirt on. So when that doesn't work, I just eyes and pretend I'm in Paris having an espresso with Marcel. <laughs> wow. But yeah. Adaptability. Don't take anything personally. Um, and think outside of the box because if you get locked into a plan, I always say a plan is a great thing. It gives you something to throw out the window. Well stated. Okay. Next question. You've just run off and joined the circus. What's your act? Ooh, I like the trapeze. I can't do it, but I love the trapeze artists. And I'd also maybe end up at the animals. But um, and if you fall off the trapeze, uh, that, well, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, long time vegan here. So I, you know, I would love the animals. Really, really horrible time in the circus. So let's go with the trapeze and do the cir circus. I kind of like that. Okay, fair enough. Okay, next question. If you could have one pointless or semi-useless superpower, what would it be and why? I... I are the how uh, okay? I'm trying to think because like a superpower, I don't think of them as being pointless. Oh no! I mean, I had one guy who wanted to be can opener man. Oh okay. Um, let's see. Gosh. Um, I don't know. Three cats, so you know, no no kitty litter smell. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Clump girl. <laughs> Oh God, that's that's almost as bad as the Dr. Horrible sing-along where you had moist, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that, I like that. Okay, next question. What's the most creative backhanded compliment you've ever received? You're, you're different from every other sound mixer I've ever worked with. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much daily. <laughs> and also you smile and you look happy. <laughs> <laughs> usually goes along with it. <laughs> oh, as opposed to resting bitch face, right? I mean, I, I guess those mix just beaten down. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> all right. So we all use plugins in our audio processing and video work and all of that stuff. Design for me a plugin that you could use in your day-to-day -day life. And describe oh, it for me. God, the plane remover. The 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 because we don't we don't use plugins on set. So I'm just like, right, when we're shooting and it's a great scene, and all of a sudden the plane or the train or the motorcycle or whatever goes, the generator, I'm like, magic button that I can push to remove all noise that we don't want, but only the stuff I don't want. That's actually a superpower, I think. Actually, yeah, I think that probably is. I mean, <laughs> you know, I, I actually I had to just um I had to animate a, a fake plane coming in over one of my interviews recently because of that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next question. What's the strangest thing you believed as a small child? I don't know. I'm trying to remember. What did I believe when I was a small child? I mean, I could get depressing and could say everything could be okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty strange. Um, yeah, you sort of grow up as a child. I think parents try to keep you in a little bubble and I think you believe that's reality. And, and it's just a harsh awakening when you find out it. 
what did I believe? Um, I don't know, maybe believing all the, uh, the stories you saw on TV about like happy families and uh, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, let's not even go there. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, that concludes our normally scheduled questions. I'm now going to put 30 seconds more on the clock and allow you to either answer for me a question you wish I had asked you, shamelessly plug something, pontificate on life in general, ask me a question, whatever you want, 30 seconds, it's all yours, go. Ooh, uh, uh, yeah, deer in the headlights. Okay. This <laughs> <laughs> um, is my favorite part. <laughs> Daniel, you're in the spotlight. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> um, gosh, pontificate. I don't know. I would guess I would say for anybody coming in, um, it's better now than it was. You know, I, I was, you know, as a woman coming into sound, it was a very different experience for me. A lot of studios didn't hire women and stuff. And um, follow your dreams. Don't let people talk you out of them. It's all a lot of hard work and you won't realize, you know, one day you'll turn around and be like, how did I get here? It just you know, believe in yourself, follow your dreams, work really hard and uh, stay true to yourself. I love it. Sarah Glazer, thank you for being my guest. 